Uh, burgundy. So that's I'm what hiding. I said in the sound test. So. No, I'm not hiding anymore. Hello, everyone. Yeah. All right, so yeah, this is going to be the last world. Um, I'm not sure if it is going to be significantly more difficult than any of the previous ones, but... Uh, I forgot how to play. <laughs> there's a surprise. <laughs> Wait, but, okay, mm -hmm. hang on, just... I keep wanting to jump with the, uh, the X and Y buttons, because smash. And we're already dying. I didn't see the pit. The pit of despair. If it was hidden underneath the HUD, I'll give you that much. Also, since I will probably forget to do it later if I don't now, um, random shout out to Mason. Hi, Mason. AKA Speedy Yoshi, uh, because he asked for it. That's pretty much. Don't all be I getting can comfortable say. asking about it. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't usually do those, but it was requested, so whatever, I don't mind. I'm gonna get so many requests now. Shout out to Simple Flips. <laughs> shout out to everyone there. It's all covered. We love you guys, all of you. Hey, look, we get to do this. Eh, 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 eh. It's just like that one Mario Maker stage. What am I sucking in? The blocks. Oh, okay. You can grab one of those about this. Fire. Fire. But yeah, I played a Mario Maker stage a couple weeks ago that was literally just you get the giant amiibo mushroom and you have to go through a series of tunnels similar to that one that we just went through where it's just back and forth where every single tile is a breakable brick and you just slowly trudge through it and it takes like five minutes to get through the stage. <laughs> it was uh, it was some pretty good quality. Well, if you want to go back, go ahead. No, it's fine. Okay. I don't care much. I like the general use. Oh, wait, what? Mm -hmm. Do we need some kind of ability here? What do you mean? There's like a breakable ceiling, it looks like. I'm not sure. Let's go. I kind of want to see if the, any of the ones in here can do it. Fireball can't. Um, grab it anyway. Let's see, are there any that go upwards? There's a beam that might work. There's these blocks, too. Yeah, let's see if those can break them. You can break them with the laser. Okay, this should probably work. It didn't do anything. Huh? It didn't do anything. That just probably shows that they're breakable. Oh, okay. And then you do it up here, I guess. Also, I should not have, by any, like, for any reason broken all those blocks, but I did, and it worked. Also, these are not breakable. Um, uh oh. Okay. Fireball? <laughs> Maybe. If we're lucky. I keep calling it fireball, but whatever. It's fire. It's fireball as far as I'm concerned. There we go. Yay. Button. Button. So, now that we are in the last video of this, um, I should probably mention something. Um, believe it or not, this... Wait, are we stuck? No. Okay. Uh, believe it or not, this game actually has a story. Believe it or not. It hasn't uh, really come into play at all. It's just kind of mentioned in, like, the thing that shows if you sit on the tile screen for too long. Uh, the story is that... Basically, one day, people stopped having dreams, and it was because DDD stole the star rod that was in the Fountain of Dreams, and Kirby is like, that ain't cool, you know, and is trying to get it back. And that's pretty much all you know at this point. Mm -hmm. the, oh, I actually got one. Nice. Um, there will be other things happening soon, but I figured it would probably be good to, like, get that out of the way, since it would make no sense otherwise. Uh, this is... Get one out of the way. Again. Just explaining that there is a star rod, oh, and that's okay. what we've been collecting. Yeah. Like, and... Um, oh. I, I, <laughs> I thought the game soft-locked. I use my frying pan as a drying pan. Yeah, pretty much. So yeah, this is a minigame. I kind of like this one. It's better than Quick Draw. I'll give it a minigame. Hopefully you won't die, because the one-ups are useful. It would be useful. And then random speed up to throw you off. Damn. 
Oh well. You'll still get a couple, I think. Damn, son. We are going to the uh, D and D thing today, right? Yes. We found a uh, gaming store nearby. Depends that... on my brain at that point. Okay. But yeah, should be. Oh, what the hell? Okay. Yeah, we found a store that does, does D and D at... and like car game stuff. And we are not going to play today, but we're going to sit in on it and see if it's like yeah. worth it at all. Yeah, I don't know if their group is like full up or not because they don't like to do too many people which is understandable because too many people and they just you just don't get a turn so hopefully there's only going to be like so three or four. What, what if uh what if every single person in the group played a thief and then you also wanted to play a thief and tried to join and then they were like nah -uh, too many crooks to sp uh, spoil the broth and then i'll just <laughs> i'll just be like i'm not that kind of thief you didn't enjoy my terrible pun. I enjoyed the pun. I'm just trying not to, you know, overblow it. Because while enjoyable, it was a pun. I secretly am So, this is it. the mini-boss level. I remember this thing existing. I didn't remember at what point it came into the game, but I guess we're in the last world, so... I really sure. suck at bosses. I'm just saying. I suck at this game. What am I saying? I just... I just... I just want to... Do something. Come on. This is a very annoying mini boss. Is he all like roly poly elephant? I don't know, it used to be a turtle. Oh. Also, this ability is not particularly useful against mini bosses, so. Yeah, I like how I was like particular earlier. What is this, a boss rush all of a sudden? Yeah, that's why I said this is the mini boss level. Oh. Well, I'm useless. Well, <laughs> um. I'm waiting for the bugs, but I can never get them. Sorry. I like the uh, slightly oh. muddled no. DDD boss fight fan playing here. It's pretty good. I kind of like it. It sounds very Smash Bros. sounding. Was it on Smash Bros? Um, it's in the newest one. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. I, I don't remember if it's a DLC song or not, because, um, I know that there were a few of those, like Ice Cream Island. I did nothing in that fight. Here's another ability that won't help in the slightest. It's a high jump. Uh, backdrop. Also, I'm very certainly going to die here. I'll try and stay alive. It's really strange looking. Yeah, creature. and I'm dead. Okay. Oh god, he's like, eating your face. What do you, what do you suck up? Uh, it should create stars at some point. If you die on purpose, we'll have, like, a continue before this fight, probably, and then it'll be easier, but you can at least try. Come on. This thing moves in a very stiff and annoying way. Yeah, I'm not good with the bosses in this game. This is a children's game, right? Uh, pretty much. Why you play Babby game? Yeah, this one doesn't uh, present abilities to hit it very often. That's kind of obnoxious. God's sake. What is it? Just a flaming lion thing. It's kind of cool in a way, but it's not very colorful. I feel like a little bit more color would be made. Oh my god! Jesus, dude. We, Come on, uh, give me a freaking star. We have not, uh... Do we need, like, an ability or something? Well, you don't need one. It's just, it's freaking not... There we go. It's gonna... Okay. And it only takes, like, four more Jesus. of those. Jesus. Right. I'm, I'm gonna be dead. I'm just gonna float. Yeah. Oh, shit. See, I wasn't expecting it to actually create one, because last time we had to yeah. wait, like, six days, so... It must be randomized, then. Yeah. Ugh. And it was on the wrong God, side. God, it's so slow. Or, like, fast to get to. Okay. Thank God it only takes four. It could take more than that. But, uh... 
Wondering how the other version of this fight is gonna go in post-production. If I'm gonna beat it really quickly, or if it's gonna take just as long, or pancreas, fire alarm. Sure. But yeah, I like how the two bosses prior to this one were entirely useless against other bosses. I believe in you, you can do it. Oh my god. Battle against tediousness. How long can it last? Until you die. Yes. Oh no, it does take a fifth. What? Is... Oh come on, it doesn't have a thing. There's like no... <sighs> There's no thing left. There yes. we go. <laughs> it's a great face. At least it gives you an ability. Yeah. Oh, um, you can grab most of those. Actually, yeah. So now that that's over. I like how he flaps with fire. I actually didn't notice that. Yeah, he like flaps really hard. I liked that little extra screen there, that was definitely needed. Yeah, flap with your fire. Yay. <laughs> that was kind of excellent. What the hell was the point of this last room? It's really cool looking. It's really all that you need. Yeah, I suppose. So, yeah. <laughs> Turns out somehow there was a secret way nest. Oh, At least Kirby is safe with his sword. He doesn't, like, run with it in his face like scissors. You can't, uh, roll with your sword out or you'll take damage. Yes. Just like the mirror shield can't reflect it, or not. Actually, can it? I don't remember. No, it can't. Okay, so the guide was actually correct. I'm not sure why it can't, but it can. Because they were not able to. Doesn't make any sense, though. Yeah. So I think this is the part where they're like. I don't give a shit no more. Eh, let's just make a boss rush level, and let's just make this one a bunch of diamonds. We only have, like, a few more levels to go. We, we can just fill it up with crap, nobody cares. Yeah. Got it. There's a tomato. <laughs> just, just come to the top. I'm trying, I can't um, get past the m m m and m is. And it's slippery too, so it's even worse. There's a candy! And it was not entirely needed, would have been better in the previous room. But we can dream. I had a dream where we had to make a costume that was the, like, monster costume that Boo wore in Monsters Inc. I, I don't remember why we had to make it though. I dreamed that... Why? Yeah. What the hell is this? It looks like a room where you get stuff. Uh, I was assuming that it was just gonna drop the cannons. Apparently it, uh... I think we should've left those alone. Oh, oh my god! god what happened here?! Holy shit! Oh! And I lost all my abilities. The frame rate loss has, uh... <laughs> never been seen it's in such grand before. Like, what the crap, GBA? I've never seen that before. And it's emulated. That was pretty good. I like that level. It's a good level. Yeah. Can I have an ability somewhere? Um, you yeah. can go into a previous level and no. then quit. For sure. Yeah. There's ball. I got ball. I got ball. We got a dollar. We got a dollar. We got a dollar. Hey, 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 hey. I don't like the ball. I like the ball, but I don't like the ball. I forgot that this did nothing. Well, it's sleep. What do you expect I... it to do? It's like, uh, as a kid, I had a guidebook that was like. It, it was it was a guide for Super Mario World, but it had like info on other Mario games also. 
and there was like a screenshot of like the endings of a few games, and I saw the one that was the ending of Mario 2, where he's just like in the bed sleeping because the whole game was a dream. And I, for some reason, saw that screenshot and assumed that there was a game just called Super Mario Sleep, mm -hmm. and that it would be a good game. Okay, I cannot accomplish anything anymore. So, this is the level where they're like, eh, let's just make a bunch of rooms that are almost the same. It'll be good. Mm -hmm. ball is not exactly working out to my advantage here, though. This is better. Yeah. Destroy everything. <laughs> okay. Uh, is there anything hidden up in these little areas? Don't know. Hopefully not, because I'm not going to check all of them. Now I have to actually get out of there. Consistently take damage. Can I get the one up, or is it too dangerous? No. Yeah. Are we okay? Uh, that looks like the end of the level. I assume we have to do something with going down the center part. No, I guess you come out of the center part. I haven't seen the bottom of the stage yet, so I don't really know. These goldfish keep getting me. Goldfish. Yeah, like the goldfish. Goldfish. They're totally goldfish. There's like little floating fish. That thing. That's a bird. Oh, it looks like a goldfish. I thought this whole time it was a goldfish. <laughs> floating fish floating through the air are gonna bite your nose off. Yes. stages there are. No, 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 yes. no. Yes. <laughs> They're blowing up everywhere. It's annoying. It's a good run. They actually seem to, oh, for God's sake, <sighs> many bosses. Um, I don't know if those crash enemies are actually worse in the NES game or if we just got really lucky there because every time they've shown up, when I've been playing the other one, like, if they explode anywhere on screen, you take damage. Mm -hmm. Which makes sense, because that's what the copy ability of that does. I was facing the wrong way. He doesn't turn around. I like how I was about to say that I've never had that problem, and then I literally had it right there. It was pretty good. No. I'm useless. Insert Phelous Old Man voice here. I'm not going to actually make the reference, but I will allude to it. Oh my god, this thing. I keep thinking it's going to shoot the tires out, and then it never does. I can't. I can't do anything. It's not doing it. It's not doing it! Oh, wasn't that fun. More mini-bosses? No. It's a room full of... It's the winds of change. ...things. Ah! I'll just keep going over here then. Yeah. God. And then goldfish. And then I'd fallen a pit. Somehow didn't die, though. I got fire. heard that one of these is a really, really short fuse that is, like, impossible to make. 
Um, find out where the cannon is and then try your best, but if you don't get it, then whatever. Uh, let's see, I guess you just have to hit it and go. Yeah, that looks really bad. I lost my fire too. I think the person in the comments that pointed that out said that it only leads to one ups though, so it's not super important. Thank you, person in comments. I, like, couldn't actually figure out what button to press there because I took my hand off the keyboard. <laughs> there, we heard the left, actually, no. I was about to say we heard the last note of that, but no, we, we didn't. It. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this level. What? Oh, I forgot about this one. This is adorable. It's totally goldfish, I don't care what you say. Like, they look like goldfish wiggling their tails. Is this the NES version? Yes, and that's why it's black and white. I thought it was, wasn't in black and white. Exactly, and I was being sarcastic. I don't know, the games? I'm sorry. Well, I mean, which which system was black and white? Game Boy? There you go. Okay. I'm sorry. I know you don't know the game, so... I failed you. But yeah, the first game was uh, Kirby's Dreamland, and you did not have copy abilities, which is probably why this stage doesn't have them. The game was specifically made to be, like, easy for kids, because I guess a lot of games at the time were going the overly hard route. I remember hard. having a uh, difficult time with it anyway, though. Like me? Yeah. Like, I, we, neither of us have this excuse to be failing so badly at this game, but there it goes. Well, I've never played, like, I can't get up there. Okay. <clears throat> I've never played, like, a hard Kirby game, I guess. I, I like yarn adventure and, and bead adventures and whatever the heck it's called <laughs> off of the top Kirby's of my head. Kirby's bead adventure. I cannot remember. I my brain right now. Kirby's adventures with Rick. Actually, no. I, I said that because I was trying to make up something that didn't have anything to do with the series, and then I remember that there actually is a character named Rick, so Rick that and, didn't A Rick and Morty well. adventure in Kirby would be amazing. Be a hidden door there. I don't know why there isn't. I guess because this is the uh, abridged version of the level. Kirby, right back at ya, the abridged series. Just give DDD an offensive Texan accent and that'll be it. Nothing else has to be done. Texan accent? Yeah. Did he have a Texan accent? In the show, he did. Um, the know. only thing I know about that show is like the intro song and the line where. It, it, it's like, what can I do for you, King DDD? I need a monster to climb on that there Kirby! I see. Uh, yeah, that was a hole. So here's a part that is uh, made slightly less tedious by the fact that you can slide. Here's what you originally had to do. Uh, it was uh, slow. And, uh, and then you continue to do it. Yeah. Well, because you were catching up. And now suddenly abilities are not right Because it's a Kirby game. And you want them abilities. Oh, that was a nice little backstage. I like how this was the second game in the series and they were already doing Nostalgia Pandering. Isn't that just Nintendo, though? What? Where was there a secret? I don't know. Let's go. Alright, so... Totally the final boss. And we're going in with no abilities. Oh wait, no, I have no. a Now it's Dee Dee. Well, you go ahead and keep heading out, because I don't have much I can do at the moment. Why the hell is it this song? It's all slow. This is a freaking weird remix. So, a brief history of Kirby music. Um, this song was originally Gourmet Race from uh, Superstar. This is the one that everybody and, knows, though. Yeah, this was, this was a song that played for about 30 seconds in the least impressive game in Kirby Superstar. And it 
like, for some reason, became, like, the main Kirby song because of Super Smash Bros. and became the Fountain of Dreams song. Which is why it's playing here, but it's still weird. I'm being useful! Yes! I'm being useful! For once in my life in this game. stage. The Bowser is really weird running. And they do the hot song dance. What is A Kirby? What is A Kirby? We now we're fighting a bubble. Yeah. And sudden sh uh, gameplay shift. Did we don't have to float? No, gameplay shift, final boss, go. This is going to be, I, I imagine, substantially easier with two people. But um, I'm not sure if invincibility frames are a thing here. Can't really tell. Looks like he's going down. All the sparkles! Sparkles need to die. I can't tell what's going on. What is this thing? Uh, this is Nightmare. Are we doing anything to it? Oh, okay. Yeah. So it died quite easier than I expected it to. Yay. going to the moon one day. And now we have to catch Mew. It's the sky. Of course we have to catch Mew. Are, are we doing anything? Or? Not yet. Why does the moon have grass on it? I don't know. I'm not sure if that's grass or if it's like flame around it. Okay, so he has... The tornado spot thing is his only weak point, and you have to wait for it to get exposed. If you can even respawn, I'm not sure if you can. I'm sorry. It's okay. We're probably gonna have to do this one a second time, unless I get a really good run of this. I thought when he Also, jumped, for right? some reason, your game is desynced. I am not sure why that's the case. That's really weird. I... I have to try to ignore it. How does that work? That is bizarre. I'm like, here I am fighting the final boss, and <laughs> meanwhile on the other screen, just weird stuff. And, and now it's you, white. You died. Did somebody use Psywave? You, you died in my game. Yeah, because somebody used Psywave. How did you die in my game but not yours? The reference I'm making is because in Gen 1 Pokemon, Psywave did different damage depending on, like, which game you were looking at, and so you could actually desync a Pokemon battle and get it all uh, glitched. So I think that's what happened there. This is really strange. Yeah, a little bit. Cool sprite. I really like the way he looks. So I might actually end up getting him, but, uh... Good night. It, I think it was communicated well enough in the little cutscene thing, but I don't know if you got what happened there. 
basically DDD was trying to stop him from putting it back on because he took it down for a reason. So. Well, maybe they should communicate better. No, it's a Nintendo game. They can't talk. Ah, shit. I think I'm gonna die. Also, this boss is totally not Mark's. Oh, there we go. Alright, that was, uh, unusual. Let's try that again. What does it do with me? Okay. So, it's probably still gonna be a one person hits it and he warps away type thing anyway, so... I don't know if having two people is necessarily gonna help, but, uh... We'll see. I don't like the not floating thing, though. But you used to hate the floating. I do. But then you got but accustomed to it. Now, well, no, I've gotten... I don't really know what I'm doing, because I don't know if I'm... When I spin, is he hurting him, or...? No, you have to shoot it. Okay. See, it looks like a Metroid the screw attack, screw attack kinda, thing, yeah. so that confused me. And I don't seem to jump high enough. I guess you can float, but uh, it doesn't really help you. Timing. Well, this is going better for me, at least. I don't know if you've been able to get any shots on it. The, the moving background really disorients me slightly. Yeah, it's a little bit weird. Because I'm not moving, but it is moving, and this bugs me greatly. It's not quite as textured in the original, from what I remember, because I know there's a moving floor, but I think it's just like a star pattern. Yeah. Let's see if you die in my screen. Uh, I'm trying to see if they desync again. Looks to be better. They look the same, yeah. Ah. Yeah, he's a uh, pretty great chin there. Oh, there okay. we go. Nice. Oh my. That's, and uh, he becomes a bird. That was a slightly horrifying sprite there for a second. Okay, background, you can stop. No, it's important. We have to explode the background first. And then the moon erupts. Now we're desynced. God damn it, why? <laughs> That is so dumb. I don't know why it's like that. Our hero Kirby has fought bravely to recover the Star Rod. So, um... But King DDD didn't mean any harm. At this point, I would just get rid of the certainly Bob's wasn't trying to harm the Fountain of Dreams. It all began when the nightmares be appeared in the fountain. I like how we're getting story after the game. The nightmares rode the currents of the Fountain of Dreams wreaking havoc and tormenting the residents of Dreamland. <laughs> That's a pretty good face. <laughs> when King DDD hid the Star Rod, the power source of the Fountain of Dreams, he was actually hiding it safely away from the nightmares. Yeah, well, communication. Borrowing King DDD's power, Kirby managed to defeat the nightmares. With he no help from DDD. Now that the Star Rod has returned to the fountain, everyone's dreams will return. So fluff up your pillow and get ready for a good night's sleep. Unless you have, like, 16 pillows. Yeah. Which makes it even better. I might have a wife with 16 pillows. <laughs> I <like> pillows. <laughs> There's nothing wrong. I only have seven pillows. Seven. And and one of a couple of them are throw pillow. Well, at least we get to see the cutscene in desynced mode. So yeah. that's fun. Oh, was it game? There's Mashed Potato Samurai. No. <clears throat> so yeah, there's going to be one more video of this, but it's going to be uh, just me playing on my own, because I know that the uh, NES game at least has a boss rush. I figure I'll try that. Um, this one seems to have a couple extra game modes, but they're all just play through the game again under X challenge condition, and I'm not going to do that, obviously, so... Um, 
It's probably going to be a shorter video, but I don't know. I figured I'd do it anyway. And after that, I don't actually have a replacement lined up, but um, let's let's go ahead and establish right now that the next one is going to also be. It's going to have a dual purpose of what I just explained, and also have the uh, like the poll for the next game that I do, because I have a few in mind. But uh, I guess we'll let credits finish up. I really don't have much else to add. I like how you just fucked off immediately. <laughs> I'm sorry, my brain is in a different mode right now. Did you fight this thing with the ball ability? That seems like a really bad decision. Wait, that puts you to sleep? Really like to know why the game's desynced. I haven't done that at all in the rest of the playthrough, so I'm not really sure what happened there. So it is not quite a 10 year anniversary for this one. Oh boy, boss endurance. So I guess I can do that in both modes then. Uh, is that it? Probably need 100% to unlock the other crap. Um, yeah, I'll mess with that next time. So, uh, and.